If the recession has a silver lining, it's this. More young people than ever are attending college and community colleges are leading the boom. Community colleges in America. Spending time in a community college. We're looking for community colleges. President Obama shined a spotlight on community colleges today as he drew a direct line from the education these schools provide to the country's economic recovery. By 2020, America will once again lead the world in producing college graduates. And in a sign of support, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is pledging almost $35 million in grant money to community colleges over the next five years. We have today over 8 million students in community colleges. And the idea is to not have just 25% of them complete with some sort of certificate or degree, but to get so many more of them through the system. The issue could be defined in just one word and that is the word opportunity. Ben Jackson was at a private university until tuition hikes sent him moving back in with mom and dad and embracing his community college. I would say it's for the better, and it's, it's to save money right now. When you mention and you advocate for community colleges, people come out of the woodwork. The stories are profound. I got a great education, I settled into myself, and then from there, it was a springboard into what I wanted to do. It's like having a space station. You fly up there, you hang around for a month, and then you can zoom, you can go to Mars, you can go to any place in the universe. Community colleges offer a tremendous education with very good professors at a cost that is affordable to average ordinary citizens in America today. I think one of the great things is that Americans are seeing that all students are the right students for community colleges. I've always said that they are America's best kept secret and hopefully now the secret's out. I look at where we are today and I look at our communities and the role our community colleges are playing getting people back to work, the differences they are making in terms of creating a better economy for the citizens in a given community. And I'm convinced this is a time that begs for leadership, it begs for creativity, it begs for vision from our leaders.